Yeah, we're, we're planting some fruit trees around the town, so setting up a community orchard. So it's, there's going to be on various sites around the town, um, fruit trees, apple trees, um, damsons, some pear, uh, to make fruit available just generally, uh, you know, in public spaces, so that people can access fresh fruit. Um, Is it? And perhaps get involved in the growing and the looking after the trees and reskilling in that in that line. <clears throat> So people will just be able to take the food when they want it? Yeah, we're not going to say <laughs> hands off, uh, you know, it's, it's available for, for whoever, you know, kids to come and collect or uh, for people to, to distribute among the community really. Um, you can stand the tree into the hole. And backfill with uh, the soil. So tap it down a bit. Any more direct. <laughs> How big is the hole meant to be? It should be, the roots are about that much on the tree, so it should be as much again. Yeah. At least, so about, yeah, foot, two foot. Okay. The bigger the better, really. And how deep? And how deep? Deep enough so that the you can see where the trees have been planted before, before they were dug up, so the soil's at the same level, so that's going to be about something like that. 30 centimetres, 40 centimetres. Like okay. yeah. Depends where the tree was planted, how big the tree was planted before. Our two most productive tree planters. <laughs> well, it seems to be, yeah. <laughs> so we picked a lot of tree varieties that are said to be hardy to put up with the conditions in this part of the world um, so with a bit of luck they'll still be there growing producing in a few years time um, there may be some that don't work very well but that's part of the learning experience really to find out which ones are happy enough for this in this region yeah well I think maybe with the community orchard it might make people a bit more aware of what what sort of a bounty they, they can get from a fruit tree maybe it would encourage people to, to make use of the fruit that they've got in their gardens and, even maybe grow extra trees in their own gardens if they've got garden space. Um, We've done apple pressing at the uh, Go Green at Home days as well um, for the last two years. Um, that's been quite popular. People have been able to have a taste and uh, bring in their windfalls and turn it into juice. Yeah. The other things that in Buxton were quite high up, and a lot of people don't even believe yeah, you can grow fruit this part of the world so it's kind of a demonstration uh, purpose as well really to encourage people to believe that yeah. that food in general is, is possible to grow here.